Hello and welcome to another video. This is going to be the wave off and, and slash bolter procedure for case threes, uh, case three wave offs for bolters. And I have this chart up for us to look from a bird's eye view first, and then we'll hop into plane later. Uh, so if you look at the red text, we are going to this is the wave off slash bolter procedure. Climb 1,200 feet on speed AOA, and then rejoin the um, outbound runway radial with given permission. So the permission part we don't have ATC, so we're just going to turn. And uh, so it looks like. We, this is scenario you're landing on case three. You either wa get waved off or you miss a wire. You're going to take a nice climbing left hand turn to 1200 feet. Uh, it's about, I would say, about a mile, 1.2 um, a beam, if I would have to guess. And I'll show you how I guess that later. You're going to turn onto the radial of your heading of your runway. So in our case, in our server, it'll be two five two five five is our runway heading. So in our case, it'll be zero seven five our heading. Fly out to about five to six miles, and then take our level turn onto the uh, localizer and course into the runway. Three miles, we will uh, follow the glide slope and continue to follow the localizer down to the runway. At three hundred to the five three hundred to four hundred feet, you should be able to see the ball at that point and transition to the ball and um, use the ball from that point on. So the range I got is from this bottom card down here. You have uh, one, one mile, two mile, three mile, four mile, five mile down here. So it looks like about that distance looks like maybe about a tick or two. So I'd say about 1.3 miles a beam which should be fine. And it looks like you turn in at about five miles. Uh, so five to six, the longer you give yourself, the easier it'll be to line up on, uh, on center line. So we'll hop in the plane now. All right, so now we're in the F-18. I'm going to turn off the map just so it's very bright. And some things you got to get set up just real quick. You got to make sure your anti sids off. Hook bypass is set to carrier. Landing lights are off. And uh, I'll put my positions on. I don't know if, I think, I'm pretty sure they can have the position on. Landing lights have to be turned off for the LSO. You don't blind them and they, so they can also read the AOA indexer on your nose gear. I will also set up the ILS, which in our server is channel 1-1. So I hit ILS on, we'll clear the one, we'll hit 1-1 one, one, which is 11, enter, and then we'll hit our attack end, on, clear, 7-4, enter, and we have our attack end info up here, TCN will select, and ILS we shall select, so that'll display it on our HUD, so now we have our range to the, tank, or to the carrier, and we'll have the ILS when we come around the uh, back end of the boat. Second thing, we're, we're hooked up to the catapult, so launch bar can come back up. And we'll still stay locked in place so that you don't get unlocked. And we're all good to go. So we're going to go, we're going to take off. We're going to go straight into the wave off procedure. We're going to, we're going to simulate that we've waved off. We're boltered, actually. And we'll take off, climbing left turn to 1,200 feet. One point, uh, I'd say 1.1 to 1.5 a beam distance should be fine. And we'll be, we'll be using this distance. And we're turning to 075. So that if I go back to the chart, we're starting here. We're going to take off, climbing left turn 1200 feet. 075 should reach 1200 around here. 075, maintain this heading. 075, 1200 feet, on speed away for five miles. And then we'll turn into uh, our runway heading, which is 255. And we'll set that up right now. Uh, we'll go to course. We can right click and hold until we have C cell that pops up here. Then we can type 255 enter and that'll give us a runway course. I think it might be 25. It's, it's the closest I'm going to get it. The localizer will be there as well so if we need any more help. 
And so we're going to take off. Actually, first I'm going to remove the clock because I don't want the clock there off the HUD. That'll be fine. We'll put full mill power. All right, so we're taking off to climbing left turn. Make sure our hook's down, flaps are full, gear is down. Now we'll take a left turn. I'm going to cage my HUD. I like caged. And we're coming left all the way to 075, which is a reciprocal of our runway heading. The opposite direction. About 30 degree turn works well for this. I'm putting a little bit more power so we climb up a little faster. Zero seven five. You gotta make sure you get call the boat so the lights turn on. And we're gonna maintain zero seven five. We're going to maintain 075 heading 1,200 feet <laughs> for visual. <laughs> We're going to maintain our heading 1,200 feet and we'll extend to 5 miles while maintaining 1,200 feet. Now we have two bars here. We have the localizer bar and the glide slope bar. The localizer is the vertical one. Glide slope is horizontal. When we're on runway course, if the vertical bar localizers to the right, you got to come right for lineup. If it's to the left of your velocity vector, you come left. Then you have the horizontal bar, which is our glide slope. When that is high, when the bar is above your velocity vector, it means you're low. When the bar is below your velocity vector, it means you're high. And it wants you to, to correct and kind of chase it when you're on final. Right now, we're maintaining, 12, maintaining 1,200 feet uh, for five miles. And we'll start following the glide slope at what's known as tip over. Once we're aligned with the runway, tip over is at about 3.2 miles usually. And that's when the glide slope is meshed with our horizon bar. And I'll show you that when we're on it. And I like to take a standard rate 30 degree turn all the way around. Um, I like to correct it as we go, but I like to start with 30 and then adjust. Five miles, let's go. Actually, I'm going to do a 25. That should be around 25 degree turn. 25 to 28 area. And you can see that we are currently turning towards our heading of 255. That's cool, some cool lightning out there. So we're coming all the way around, maintaining 1200 feet with power. If you don't know how to maintain on speed AOA, that's, I have a video for that as well I know and I also have a video on ILS alone so how to use it and shell out this turn a little bit I think I overturned a little bit so if you overturn um, for your runway you can just my runway is 255 I'm just gonna go about 26 263 and that'll slowly get us aligned so you can see how that vertical bar is to the right of velocity vector so it wants us to come right so we'll come right of our heading of 265 that should be enough So 255 is our runway. It wants us to come right. We came right 10 degrees to the right, and we'll correct 10 degrees to the left once we uh, start to get centered up. Horizontal bar, which is the glide slope, is high, which means we're low. We're not going to chase it just yet. See how it's coming down a little bit? It'll slowly come down with our range as our range decreases. Vertical bar is almost centered. I'm going to add a little bit of left. There we are. Okay, 3.9 miles. Zoom out a little bit here. Three point six miles and glide slope should start to come down now. It's a lot of power movements. Alright, there's the tip over, so we're gonna follow the glide slope now. 
And once we see the runway, I'm going to uncage my HUD. About 300 feet to three uh, four to 400 feet, we're going to try to transition to the ball as best we can. And that's uh, the ball is a little bit more accurate, so you want to transition to the ball as fast as possible. 300 is our minimum altitude. So 900 feet, no runway in sight. Localized just a bit to the left, so I'm going to come left of my runway heading, about 250, 253. No huge corrections because we're very close to our runway now. So we're looking for the runway lights now, 1.4 miles, a little low, that's in power in. Those runway lights, gonna uncage my HUD. It's a little low, man, a little bit of power in still. There's a line coming back down, we'll follow it back with it. I'll roughly put my velocity vector to the crotch of the ship, and we'll slowly bring that back towards the runway. A little high now, take out some power. And transition to the ball here, a little low. Should have at 300 feet, that's my fault. A little updraft at the back of the boat. Put in full power. There we are. Let it bring you back, flaps up, wing fold. Hook up, power forward, nose is steering high. And taxi off as fast as possible, but as safe as possible. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.